What causes adenomyosis? Adenomyosis occurs when the lining of the uterus called the endometrium starts growing into the muscle layer of the uterus known as the myometrium. Now, while we don't know exactly why this happens, there are some theories. Number one, junctional zone disruption. The junctional zone or JZ is like a protective barrier between the lining and the muscle of the uterus. Think of it as a fence keeping things in their proper place. When this barrier gets weakened or damaged, maybe from childbirth, a caesarean section or a procedure like a DNC, it can't do its job properly. That's when the lining can start growing into the muscle causing adenomyosis. Number two, stem cell misplacement. There's a theory that stem cells end up in the wrong spot in the uterine wall. This misplaced cell might develop into endometrial-like tissue inside the muscle layer leading to adenomyosis. Number three, hormonal influence. Hormones, especially estrogen, don't actually cause adenomyosis, but they can make it worse. Estrogen feeds the growth of adenomyotic tissue, making symptoms like heavy periods and pain even more noticeable. Number four, inflammation. Chronic inflammation might also play a role. This could come from things like infections, autoimmune issues, or trauma to the uterus. Inflammation creates an environment where the endometrial tissue can grow into the muscle. Number five, genetic and environmental factors. Genetics might be part of the puzzle since adenomyosis can run in families. On top of that, environmental factors like exposure to certain chemicals or toxins could also contribute. Research is still ongoing to figure out how all these pieces fit together. To wrap it up, adenomyosis is likely caused by a mix of these factors. If you are dealing with heavy periods, pelvic pain or other symptoms, it's a good idea to see your gynecologist to figure out what's going on and what can be done to help.